and self-determined. I'd like to thank Tony Moore and his dedicated team, plus all the volunteers that are here today. Let's have a big round of applause for the volunteers that are here. The bird I was painting. Yeah. And what colours is it? Uh, green, blue, and green and purple. That's fantastic work. And then we're going to do this with a pink eye as well. This project's a special celebration of the Arana 60th anniversary and uh, Arana was involved with Somersault on the Umbrella Project and they painted some umbrellas and that's a highlight feature in their entrance area and this was building on that original art project. So this project's called Fly and it's all about freedom but also it's like flocks of birds work together to be a unity so that was also what they were talking about as an organisation with all the employees here of how it is a, a group effort to achieve things. Isn't that bright yellow? At Netley, we've got 130 employees here. Throughout the state, we've got 430. But this particular site, Tony Dog said it would be fabulous to make it a bit more appealing aesthetically. So we sort of came up with the concept that we'd like to put the birds where our employees would be able to see them and the birds themselves are going to symbolize Orana being a stronger place that you know come fly with us together we're stronger you know a flock of birds and we're really a team and we enjoy being together and together we're stronger so that's that's sort of the whole concept Listen, this is great. Thanks, thanks for coming along and being here for the Soundwaves launch. Look, this is a, an exciting project funded by Department of Families and Communities, and it's got long-term funding, and that's the exciting thing. So we're going to develop things. We're going to use this event uh, to feature some of the stuff uh, that's produced in workshops, Soundwaves workshops, and we're going to have some great events. I'm going to hand you over now to uh, the person that we're privileged to have to launch the Soundwaves project uh, with his style of hip-hop, MC Frost. Let's have a round of applause. Thank you very much, Tony. 
I'm gonna get us started. Alright. Go down the street for a walk. Everybody gawks, stalks, don't wanna talk. Jeez, life gets like this and it's shameless. That's what you get, what you get when you're famous. It never stops, you're in the public eye. I used to have the love, the love is gonna die. But I better stop, cause I know I'm gonna get jacked in my letterbox. Creep real slow and make the most of taking my time to the fence post. Creep real slow and I never go fast. See, I walk real slow with the fame as a pass. When you're famous, 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 leave a scene of somebody else, but that's okay. Famous, famous, when you're famous, famous, famous. Okay, well, thanks, Chris. And Chris is uh, going to be one of the uh, tutors that's available for tutoring. Hey, look, I'm, I'm really excited about this project because uh, it really does offer a range of opportunities in the long term, and that's what's hard to get often, um, especially in disability arts. We've all done lots of short projects, and they're great. But with um, longer-term funding, you can expect some exciting things to happen. Uh, the unknown and the unforeseen is around the corner for people with disabilities in relation to music and the Soundwaves project. But look... I'm going to ask you now, the second Soundwaves performer ever uh, on this launch event is Marianne Rich. Let's have a really big round of applause. Thank you, Tony Doyle. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> You might want to sing with backing tapes. And the last act on today is Linda McCarthy, who's a great example of a, a professional singer who's out there cutting it and uses um, uh, backing MIDI tapes. I see a bad moon rising. 